everyone welcome to my virtual class i am mom j and i'm your teacher for today happy learning ang lesson natin sa araw na ito ay inductive and deductive reasoning so i-differentiate natin silang dalawa so, anayin natin si inductive reasoning. So, we say inductive reasoning uses specific examples to arrive at a general rule, generalizations, or conclusions. So in, so, in other words, when you say inductive reasoning, it is specific to general. So, examples, number one. So, pagmasta niyo po ang ating figure. So, what will be the next figure? So, the next figure is look like this. So, ayan. So, kung napapansin nyo, meron tayong pattern. So, number 2. 1, negative 2, 3, negative 4, 5. The next number is, so, negative 6. Number 3, Z, Y, X, W, V. What is next? So, U. Number 4. My math teacher is skinny. My last math teacher was skinny. Therefore, so, all math teachers are skinny. So, pag sinabi natin inductive reasoning, una-una nyo makikita dyan, meron siyang mga pattern. Ayan. And then, nag-come up tayo ng general or conclusion. Ng generalization or ng conclusion. Ayan po. Ano naman ang deductive reasoning? So, when say deductive reasoning, uses basic and or general statements to arrive at the conclusions. So, pag sinabi naman natin deductive reasoning, meron na tayong generalizations. So, general to specific. So, meron na tayong concept. And then, uh, from that concept, kukuha tayo ng conclusion. So, parts of deductive reasoning. So, number one, hypothesis, the statement which is accepted or known at the beginning. And number two, conclusion, the statement drawn from the hypothesis. So, let's have an example. So, number one. So, our cats are animals. So, kitty is a cat. So, therefore, kitty is an animal. Number two. All students eat pizza. Emily is a student. So, therefore, Emily eats pizza. And number three. All oranges are fruits. All fruits grown on trees. So, therefore, all oranges grown on trees. So, pag sinabi natin deductive reasoning, uh, general to specific. So, try natin. So, determine whether they use inductive or deductive reasoning. So, number one. All even numbers are divisible by two. 28 is even number. Is even. So, therefore, 28 is divisible by two. Tingnan nyo nga kung ating statement ay specific to general or general to specific. All even numbers are divisible by 2. 28 is even, therefore 28 is divisible by 2. What will be the answer? So our answer is deductive reasoning. So from general to specific. Let's have number 2, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. The next term is going to be 18. So kung napapansin nyo, meron tayong pattern. So pag ganyan ang case, so specific to general, our answer is inductive reasoning. Number three, my daddy has curly hair. My brother has curly hair. Therefore, everyone I am related to has curly hair. So, meron tayong pattern again. So, specific to general. So, probably our answer is inductive reasoning. Number four, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Joe ate an apple every day. Dr. Drew stay away. So, tingnan nyo nga yung ating statement. Meron ba siyang pattern? So, wala siyang pattern. So, ibig sabihin, general to specific. So, our answer is deductive reasoning. Number five, Jimmy got beaten by a dog. Jimmy is now scared of all dogs. Ano yan? Deductive or inductive? Si Jimmy daw ay kinagat ng aso. Ngayon, si Jimmy ay takot na sa mga aso. So, yan po ay inductive reasoning. Kasi may dahilan kung bakit siya natatakot sa mga aso. Dahil nga siya ay nakagat. 
Number 6, 149, 1625, 36, 49, 64. The next term will be 81. So, mayroon tayo ulit pattern dito sa number 6. So, pag, may, pag mayroon tayong pattern, so inductive reasoning. Number 7, my soda had a roach in it. All soda has roaches. So, meron tayong uh, reason. Meron dahilan. Diba? Pagkaganyan, so inductive reasoning. Kasi yung soda daw niya may roach. So, therefore, all soda has roaches. Number 8. All speeders will be slapped. Jimmy sped. Jimmy got slapped. So, from general to specific. So, pagkaganyan, that will be deductive reasoning. Number 9. Two episodes of the Big Bang Theory made me laugh and laugh. Therefore, the Big Bang Theory is always funny. So, specific to general. So, ito ay inductive reasoning. And number 10, Jimmy named his kids Apricot Mist. Apricot Miss Moo, Apricot Miss Moo Moo, and Apricot Miss Moo Moo Moo. So Jimmy's next will be named Apricot Miss Moo Moo Moo. So meron na tayong pattern agad na makikita dyan. So yan ay inductive reasoning. So, yun lang po yung pinagkaiba ng dalawa. Pag sinabi natin inductive reasoning, meron tayong pattern. So, specific to general. At kapag deductive reasoning, general to specific. So, kumbaga, meron na tayong idea. And then, from that idea, kukuha lang tayo ng uh, conclusion or ng maliit lang na concept. Parang ganun. So, kayo naman, itry nyo nga ito. So, try it now. So, read the following arguments and determine whether they use inductive or deductive reasoning. Yan. So, 1 and saka number 2. So, number 3. Number 4. And number 5. So, sana may natutunan kayo sa araw na ito. Yun lamang po. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment. And subscribe to my channel. Until next time!